Have you ever gone on a holiday that's a complete disaster or one that is really embarrassing to the fact that you want to shrivel up and die? <laughs> yeah, well, I have. Well, it's new, people say. Kerry's gone through everything. Kerry goes through hell, believe me. And it's not easy. The life of Kerry. Shouldn't have been life of Brian. It should have been the life of Kerry. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> My mother's wonderful idea was to take us to Pontins or Butlins. I can't remember which one it was. Thank God I didn't. I think I was that traumatised that my poor noggin had completely blanked it out. <laughs> Good job as well. It's amazing what the brain can do. Anyway, we went on holiday with my son. And it was, uh, we was only going away for a week. Thank God. I think two weeks, I don't think I would never have survived. In fact, I most probably would have come home in a coffin. <laughs> but see usually when something is embarrass me or upset me my family if they're with me if they see for example somebody's been very rude um on the other side of a counter for example they don't look at them they all instantly look at me <laughs> to see i'm gonna react that's that's straight up but anyway going back to the story we went to bon Bontins, Bus Bontins, Bus bon Butlins and Bontins all in one. We went to Bontins. There we are. We'll put it that way because then I'm not sort of discussing any old, you know, company's name and slandering them, <laughs> which I'm not doing anyway. But at the end of the day, my son said to me when we went on Hansi, Mom, can you go swimming with me? I thought, Great. Is this what parents have to do by sacrificing every bit of their life? Put themselves in danger and look like a beach whale in bathing suits? <laughs> well, I think I look like a beach whale in bathing suit. Anyway, I did try and go into the pool with my uh, T-shirt on and my shorts, but I was actually stopped from going in the pool. Apparently, it's to do in case the dye comes out of the, the clothes into the water. Really? Well, that's not really much of a health hazard, if you think. When most of the kids in there, I'd say about 95%, maybe 98% actually pee in the water. So who's actually worried about <laughs> hygiene here? <laughs> What's the difference? Anyway, my son said to me, Mum, will you come up here now? You know, we'll, we'll go down the tube and whatever. So I said, all right, might as well. Grinding my teeth at every step I took up. My mother was actually sat in the cafe having a cup of tea because she never went swimming either. So she got out of that one quite quick. But she was sat there having a nice cup of tea and a cake knowing my mother. And I'm up sacrificing my life, going up higher and higher on the staircase to heaven because it never seemed to end. <laughs> By the time we got to the top, we went around the corner. It was a long queue. And I thought... What's going on here? Yeah. I looked at my son. He's all excited. And I'm thinking, does he know something I don't know? <laughs> so whilst we stood in the queue, freezing to death, may I add, because they even had a fan in there. I mean, a fan. You're standing there for about 15 minutes, dripping wet, and you've got a cold fan. But I mean, you had the flu by the time you left. But anyways, I'm stood there. I think it's, I thought, right, my son. I said, uh, is there something I should know here? Yeah? What do you mean, ma'am? I said, was a long queue. What, what are we actually heading for? What is it? He said, it's a slide. He said, you go in like a boat. It's a slide. And you go through all the tubes. I uh, said, right, okay. So it's nothing that I'm going to go shooting down and end up losing my bathers. Am I halfway down? No. Okay, I was just asking. Because <laughs> that would normally happen. If it's going to happen, it'll happen to me. Anyway, we get to the front of the queue after now standing there as a block of ice. I guess into this little boat and so did my son. He, They said for he had to be in, uh, he had to go at the back of me. I wasn't happy about that. I thought I'd rather him in the front, but apparently no, because of my weight. I thought, what a bloody cheek. Because no, apparently he's only little. If I move forward, I could have hurt him. So it's best if he goes out the back. But I thought, well, if he shoots out, he's going to go flying over the top of me. At least I got all on to him. <laughs> it's like, uh, well, whatever fits. 
So anyway, we started moving this boat and it then came from the lip of where we were, was where we were resting. And then all of a sudden, it shot straight down. It was like a 30 foot drop. I was screaming. My son was silent. And I think it was complete fear. <laughs> Nothing came out of his mouth. But the trouble is, as we hit the bottom, we were sucked up then to go up the conveyor belt, which pulled the boat up into the the slide that was a huge tube. And it broke down. <laughs> we were stuck. We were stuck on this conveyor belt. Stuck. Anyway, all the alarms are going off. My mother said, I knew it was you. She said, as soon as it said, everybody must leave the pool. Please exit the pool. Do not, you know, do not walk. Do not walk. <laughs> do not run. Swim your way out. <laughs> do not run. Just take your time and basically leave the swimming pool, right? Now, my mother's thinking, oh, what's well, she done this time? Yeah, well, yeah, right, mum. She was bloody right. But I didn't do anything. <laughs> it's just that those happens. Do you know, my son, he, he was fuming. <laughs> He's only literally about 11 and he was fuming. So anyway, this guy, this lifeguard comes over to our rescue and he's trying to get me out of the boat. And I says, all right, Liv, I can get out myself another adult. Freaking hell, it's only my, like, early 40s. <laughs> anyway, as I get out of the pool, I'm trying to, I said, which way? He said, that way. We go up towards the tube and we walk through the tube and then on our way up. I thought, how oh, long is this tube? Anyway, I'm trying to get up the tube, the conveyor belt. And he's got his hand on my ass, pushing me up. I said, hand off ass. Hand off ass. He said, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought, flipping heck. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we, we end up walking for miles in this godforsaken tube. Everybody's now emptied the pool. My mother said, I knew it was you. She said, as soon as it announced, I knew it. What has she done this time? <laughs> My son, he would not talk to me for the rest of the holiday. He hated me. So at the end of the day, <laughs> don't blame me for being trying to be a good parent. Parents? Parents. Parent, not parents. I think it was right the first time. I was trying to be a good parent, doing the right thing. That always does the wrong thing because there's always something to humiliate me. And then I'm the bad guy. I'm always the bad guy. And I don't do anything wrong. <laughs> so and then you know. All right. If you have had a crap holiday and you've made it look stupid and embarrassed, you're not on your own. Because it's happened to me as well. Growl hiss. <laughs>